Hey guys, Seth Costa Compare. Today I'm working on a Thunder Bay Y43 auger. Okay, so what this one is doing is they fire it up, they get it running, they give it gas, and it just bogs. So it'll sit there and idle, but as soon as you give it gas, it'll fall on its face. Uh, so I'm going to replace the carburetor on this. Now these are like no-name carburetors, uh, so I got a replacement, and I got a, just a cheap eBay replacement for it because there's no name on it. You can't really get an OEM one. This one has no adjustments on it uh, at all. But the replacement one in the kit, this one has an adjuster on the top, like a mixture screw adjuster, where the other one doesn't. I'll show you when I pull it off. And then uh, it also comes with some new fuel line, spark plug, filter, plunger, the primer plunger here, and also a tank fitting, which we're going to replace because the other one's leaking as well. So let me show you what we got. All right, so I'm going to start off with taking the cover off here. This is just a um, Phillips head. And the air filter is underneath it, held on by the same screw. It's got a small cover, little filter element. All right, and then we have two Allens here. These are holding the carburetor on as well, so. Get this out of the way so you can see the throttle hookups. Everything's coming off when you get this off. See this? Got this whole the whole setup right here. So here's our throttle cable. So you just give it some throttle here by hand, and then the cable will stick out of the top. This one's crusty. So you can do that as well. So what I did there is I just pulled the throttle all the way, then hold the plate, and let go of the throttle on the metal. And just take that wire, just pull it forward. All right, so now that's out. So now we got to take a wrench and get this off loosely so we can get the whole cable out. Let me grab that. All right, so a 10 millimeter here. Watch the nut here, it's gonna fall off the top of the cable, so just hold that, pull your throttle cable out, and then take the nut out. All right, so now we're left with the carburetor, the fuel lines. So because we're replacing them, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull the whole plunger out of there. Because these things are all cracked, look, they're no good. Just get behind it here. it out and I'm going to make sure that the new one fits because a lot of times in these kits they'll give you them and they don't even fit. Look at that, huh? Mmm. Tasty. Yeah, it's going to work. All right, so let's clean that up. Let's get our online set up. So what I'm going to do here is just going to take this whole setup and just size it up to the other one, make it all match, and then I'll just push it all back in together as one one unit because I'm just I'm replacing all of this stuff. So let me get the new one set up. I'll show you what it looks like. All right. So just a little trick when you're setting these up. Sometimes pushing them through here is a little difficult. So just take your uh, your line, spray some. I'm just using some silicone lubricant. You can use any kind of lubricant. A little bit of two-stroke oil. Spray it on the line right here and on the rubber insert here and then just push it through. Get it through there quick, pull it to the length because it'll dry. When it dries, it'll be harder to, to do. So, right, so then we're just gonna pull it to the length that I need, which is right there, and we're good to go. Give it a clean cut. Right, and 
and now we're just set up here. I'm going to get the fuel line, get that to the right length as the other one. And I'm going to put the um, fuel filter on it, and then we're going to mount the back up. All right, so as usual, they almost got it right, but not quite. So the problem is this line right here on the end of it, it's threaded and it's permanently mounted on here, okay? So it's, this is permanently mounted with an adjuster nut on it. So here we have a adjuster, barrel adjuster and a lock nut, but you can't use the two together. So unscrew it from the carburetor, from the new carburetor. These threads are the same that's on this cable. So I'll be able to screw it on here, spin it all the way down to the nut, and then we'll do our adjustments uh, on, the, on the carburetor right here before we even mount it up. So just slide the cable through and then start, just start spinning it on. Right, then I'm going to hook the cable up. Now you, you don't have to put this other nut on the inside because it'll, you can use this one as the lock. So let's just give this one a little bit of throttle here so we can get the cable mounted back up on it. So right here you want to see that little bit of play before it gives it any throttle, okay? And then you make sure you get full. So we're good right there, that's gonna work. Put the lock nut back, tighten that onto it. Check it again, and we're still good. All right, so we can mount it back on. So let me get the rest of the stuff off the other carburetor. And uh, for this side of it, this kit does not come with an intake manifold gasket here. The square gasket that I pulled off the other one, I got it off uh, you know, with no problems. And it, you can use it upside down. So I'm just going to put it on a different way so that it has a new sealing surface. You can see how that one was mounted on that way. But it's all symmetrical. I can put it on. You can put it on any different way and it'll work. So I'm going to flip it a different way and use it. We should get a good sealing surface. But for right now, because the kit didn't come with one. I'm not sure how uh, I would order one for a Thunder Bay. But uh, what I'm going to do here is get the fuel line and everything back in. I'm going to do the same thing with the silicone spray. I'm going to spray the, um, the seal right here. And then we're going to slide everything back in. So let's get some seal there, there. The fuel line back in. Then the return line. It's tucking one side right there. I'm going to work it in, okay. No problem. Mount it up. Trying to get the lines just right. Push them through a little bit more. Not a super tight seal on that, but it should work. All right. New gasket. Well, we're using this gasket. Same cover. Like I said, I'm going to put it on a different way, so I'll just put it upside down here. Let's get this mounted back up. At least this aftermarket carb has a adjustment on it, probably for mixture.
I'm going to go ahead and dump all this fuel out of here, put new fuel in before I try to start it. It's like I always say, you don't trust any of the fuel comes in here. I'll put some new fuel in it. All right, lines look good. Air filter, air filter cover. Let me get something to pour this fuel into, and then uh, I'll put the new stuff in it, and we'll start it. But let me show you what I was talking about about the adjuster screw on the uh, old carburetor. So I showed you the one on the new carburetor. right up here on the top. This one here has a plug there, so it's so you can't adjust it. Alright, so it's running. It was leaking a little bit of gas out of the cap here, but I tightened that up and it seems to stop. So that's all that was. Alright guys, that's all there is to it. Pretty simple carb swap. That uh, seal on the gas cap is bad. It's leaking. Got to get a new one of those, but that's all there is to it there. Guys, I got a bunch of stuff going on behind me. Got the electric bike in front of me. I got all kinds of things going on. So do me a favor guys, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications to keep up on this stuff. And until next time, it's Tepco Cycle Repair.